what's up guys i'm back so i attempted to film this makeup tutorial but so many things went wrong that i was just like forget it but um tomorrow monday the what's the date well tomorrow <sighs> you have my teeth extracted so that should be fun, right? But unfortunately, I can't take my camera in because this is a completely different dentist's office that's extracting the teeth compared to where I got my braces on. So, um, yeah, I can't go, I can't bring my camera in because they don't allow cameras, but you'll see the aftermath for sure. And I'll, of course, keep you guys updated on everything. But, yeah, tomorrow, 5 p.m., I get four teeth extracted, two at the top, two at the bottom. You know what the deal is. So, yeah, I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. I'm excited that once these are taken out, everything will start to really straighten. And I'll start to see huge changes. So yeah, I will see you guys when I'm on my way to get them extracted. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh. okay. Today is the day I get my teeth extracted. I just got home from work, um, from training. So yeah, today is when I get my teeth extracted four teeth extracted luckily they're gonna put me under with that being said i wonder if there's any interesting footage i'm gonna catch me doing anything stupid but yeah i get this one taken out this one taken out and then i think the same bottom ones oh my makeup's playing me right now um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i can't take my camera in because they said on when I was looking up what to do before your appointment, they said no cameras are allowed. So I won't be able to take you guys in. Although, if I'm still, you know, competent enough, enough, you guys could go in on the ride with me. So I'll hopefully see you after I get them extracted. We are off to go get these teeth. Whoa! Go get these teeth extracted. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I got my um I'm gonna record the aftermath of this. This should be interesting. This should be interesting, right mom? Absolutely. Absolutely. Totally interesting. Totally. Very much so. Thank you very much. Yeah. First we gotta go to Walgreens. No, seriously. We're going to Walgreens first. Because they filled a prescription for me. Because I'm assuming I'm going to be in a lot of pain. So, yeah. We're not going anywhere until I find a car case. But I just had it. Here we go. On the case. I'll catch you now. <gasps> You're gonna be just fine. I hope so. You're gonna be just fine. This still hurts. Here, let's have something to eat so you can take some medicine. We're gonna eat some mac and cheese now. I'm making a mac and cheese too. Um, mac and cheese. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, why don't you put that down so you can eat and take some medicine. I gotta eat. I haven't eaten all Got day. Got some ibuprofen. Got uh, some good stuff. Okay, so today is the day after be getting my extraction so I kind of repeated myself a couple of times 
Um, but like I said before, I got four teeth extracted. Um, I was just gonna in the middle of my doing my makeup. Sorry if you see that on my hands. So yeah. And then I decided, well, let me just film something. Real well, let me just update everybody. Um, but I got four teeth extracted. Let me turn off this TV because this is kind of loud. Four teeth extracted. And let me turn this off. Yesterday at 5 o'clock. Um, today is day the day after. Um, the process was fairly quick. They did put me under anesthesia. Um, so... It was they they told me it was about like a 10 minute procedure which i was really surprised to hear because i thought it was going to be at least 30 minutes but since the teeth that they took out were one rooted teeth unlike your molars in the back when they have the four roots um it, it the process didn't take that long which was nice so um but yeah uh so then i got home of course i was under and just straight sleepy um, then after that, I went to bed, although I woke up in the middle of the night having to use the restroom, and I was feeling a little bit better, so then I was in the ba bathroom on the potty using it, and then I was getting up, and I got super dizzy, and I just felt like I was going to pass out, and then I got super nauseous, so then I ended up slumped over the toilet, pretty much passed out. And then once I came to, I couldn't really get up because I was just so weak. And I honestly think all this was from me coming off of anesthesia as well as just, you know, the medication I had took. Because right when I got home, I took the medication that they had prescribed to me as well. So it was coming off of that. And then I was like screaming my dad's name and he comes in and then he gets my mom. And they get me out of the bathroom because I was laying there and put me back in bed. So then I went back to sleep. And then I woke up pretty early this morning um, just because I was, uh, I don't know, I just got up and like stayed up. But um, pretty much, yeah, that's, that's all that's happened. My teeth, my gums are a little sore. So I will say that they're just a tad bit sore. But nothing too serious. Um... Don't let my scary story about me passing out in the bathroom like deter you from ever getting braces, especially if it's something that you really wanted. Honestly, I wouldn't wish, I'm not saying I would wish any of that on like my worst enemy, but this is something y'all really want. And if this is something you really want, you won't let anything deter you from going ahead and doing that or doing an extraction because you want your teeth to look good. But if you're just like a little bit gory and you don't, like blood or anything I'm gonna kind of show you guys where they took out the teeth on both sides um so yeah if you're a little squeamish I would look away because it's just it's just a little bit nasty so let me show you so this tooth and this tooth they took out and same with this side And the reason why, like I said before in my previous videos, the reason why they took that out is to make room for my other teeth because I have crowding along these teeth here. And these two are, are trapped behind the, these trunk teeth. And this one is trapped behind both of them. And this one is just honestly just like on a slant. So there you go. I do want to mention something real quick. So I went to Ulta and did some shopping on Sunday. And I got a couple products. Um, I got this Cabral, Brow Pow, the um, Benefit Cabral. And I thought I would never say this, but I like this better than the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, the reason why, it just makes my brows look so much more natural, like they're there. And I guess you could say it's a forgiving product too. I know I'm totally switching. I went from braces to brow products, but bear with me. So it's a it's just a really good bra, uh, product because it's very forgiving. So if you put on a lot, you could easily just like blend it out. 
like let's say and, and it's a very controlled product like with the dip brow I feel like it's a little too pigmented for me and then if you do accidentally apply too much it's really hard to get that off like it's really hard to just kind of blend it out with everything else so but but I'm I'm in love with this. This is a really nice product. The darkest they had is number six. I also like the color because what I have in um, Anastasia, I have the brow definer. Um, the brow wiz, where is that? The brow wiz as well as the pomade somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. As well as the pomade. I have this in granite which is pretty much like a black but I feel like this is a black color well it's I don't I feel like it's it's like an even the color is even better and I was worried when I swatched it on on my hand if it would be dark enough but it's like the perfect dark it's like a a very dark brown like a dark brown because it's not a jet black but it's just a very subtle dark brown and I, I absolutely love this and the brush that came with it is bomb because typically what I would use is the this is a MAC 2A kind of rubbed off it's the MAC like 288 218 something like that typically I would use that um but yeah I don't know but this is this is great. I really like this. I kind of want to go get their pencil. I don't know. I'm so satisfied with the pomade. I kind of want to try the pencils and things like that too. Um, but yeah, I really like that product. And I just kind of wanted to also come up here and give you guys an update on everything. And me getting my teeth pulled. Um, and all that jazz. Um, but still have my appointment September 26th. So that's in about... Wow, it's almost the first. Today's the 30th. Um, so we have, whoops. That's in about like three weeks. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much my update. So I'll probably see you guys when I am on my way to my appointment on September 26th. So I will see you then. Bye. After I got my teeth extracted and my face is a little swollen I've been in a lot of pain lately and they did give me medicines luckily enough um, but yeah I missed two days of work um, just because of all the pain especially the medications that they put me on it's been pretty pretty hard and after getting them removed, I'm starting to feel a lot of movement in the top. In these top ones here. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of an update on how I'm feeling. I'm really tired and just sleepy. And just been kind of bumming around the house. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been low key a struggle very big struggle with these extractions they it hasn't been like the best of experiences having these extractions done so um yeah i've been just laying in my room um and watching tv and you know i've been eating lots of yogurt and ice cream because eating things too crunchy, that kind of hurts my canine. Because that one's really sore. I don't know why this one is. But this one's just like super sore. Um, so I don't eat anything that's too crunchy. I have to eat pretty much all soft foods. Because it, it just hurts to bite on anything right now. With all the movement in my top front teeth. So I can't imagine come the 26th. Once I have to get um, my bottoms on, I'm going to be really feeling a lot of movement. And on top of that, I need to film, but that's frustrating with my whole lighting situation. Like, my lights are playing me so bad. I may just film in just like some natural lighting like this. I may just have to do that instead. 
because my next thing would is I need to get a new camera to film with. But yeah, that's the update. Yeah, my mouth doesn't really feel like my mouth <clears throat> having these. Those missing it just looks it looks bad. It looks terrible, but hey, it's all for a good cause. All for something that I've wanted fixed for a very long time. So I need to stay positive and look at the cup half full, not half empty. But um yeah, that's pretty much the update. So I'll keep you guys updated on anything else that happens with my teeth or whatevs. But hopefully the next video is of me getting my braces on <clears throat> on the 26th, which is 25 days from now. So, <gasps> I'll keep you updated. What's up guys? How's it going? So, I just got back from my ortho appointment. I left in a hurry. So, <clears throat> I forgot to even bring my camera. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to bring my camera. Um, so I was wrong. I thought they were going to put the bottoms on, but they didn't. They just put the tops on or change the tops. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? What in the world? What's going on with me? I mascara on my face. Oh my God. But they only put it on the top. Um, so what they did is, let's see here. So they changed the tops. Um, I got a different color band and they put it, a power chain on these to start closing that gap. Because if you remember, I got an extractions, four teeth extractions these two and these two but yeah that's pretty much all that they did nothing too special so yeah today pretty much I'm not feeling any pain yet I'll keep you guys posted if I do and like where and why not because I was I didn't even take ibuprofen before I like I left but I'm super hungry and I also have an eye appointment today. Ignore my makeup, it looks pretty bad. I also have an eye appointment today because I wanna get contacts because while I'm film filming, I actually just don't wear my glasses and I don't wear contacts, which makes it really hard for me to film sometimes because it's like I can't really see myself if I'm in focus or whatever because my vision is just like not where it's at. But, yep, I have an eye appointment to see if I can get contacts today. So, I'll probably keep you guys updated if I start to feel into pain. But, yeah, I feel like a little pressure. Nothing, like, too, nothing that's uncomfortable. I just feel, like, pressure on my teeth. Like I said before, it feels like there's just lots of food stuck in between your teeth. Wow, my teeth look really white. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing special at all. I'll keep you posted. Deuces. <laughs>